What's going on? This is Alan Brown, aka Bully the Kid. And this is a video where I'm actually doing an unboxing with an experiment uh, strain company that I'm getting the opportunity to work with and kind of try out some stuff and see what I think of their product. Um, this is on the tail end of uh, what happened with Mike over at MJC. And um, if I didn't have to, I would not switch over. I absolutely loved everything about the people that work there, the people that I talked to, and um, the strings themselves. They're quality, high quality strings, and it's a sad thing to see them uh, for the time being leave the market. But, you know, moving on, moving forward. Um, I actually got in touch with this company um, through some friends in the industry, one of which was actually working for MJC. Uh, special shout out, Chris. Um, they put me uh, in the door to speak with one of the reps that were over there, and I told them about my channel, and I told them about what I do, and that I was interested in trying out some product. So they sent over uh, this package, and we're going to go ahead and unbox it right now. So let's go ahead and do that. And this is SIT Stay in Tune Strings. So, yeah. That's the company I'm going to be uh, trying out for a little bit. If it goes well, maybe the company that I stay with, but we'll see. in the box what do we got okay 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 some swag cool hopefully that looks small probably won't fit but it's a nice gesture all right so we have some power wound nickel electric base 45 to 130 okay all right and then we have some foundations nickel medium light 545 to 125 Interesting. Okay. Got some, looks like got some stickers. That's cool. All right. Put that on some cases and stuff like that. That's cool. And uh, let's see. We have a handful of the fusion wound electric bass strings, the low end customs. And this is 45 to 130. So, uh, they gave me the most of this one, so I'm going to go ahead and run with this one for now, and I'm going to be putting it on my uh, Big Al, my music man that's back there. Uh, I haven't changed the strings on them in a while, and uh, if they sound crispy still, I might transfer them to another uh, bass, but who knows. So, did get some swag. What size is it? Can I wear it? Can I wear it? Can I wear it? Can I wear it? No, I cannot. Yet. But SIT, string t shirt, that's pretty dope. SIT, that's cool. So I have a gold shirt. It may not be too bad. It's a little snug, but maybe. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> I'm, I'm, not, I'm hopeful, but I'm realistic as well. <laughs> so I'll um, go ahead and throw those strings on the base and uh, kind of get a string comparison. The next thing that you're gonna hear from me is what's currently on there, and those are the MJC Ironworks strings, uh, round wound from 145 to 125, so it should be a one, no, it's one. It's 45 to 130, I believe. So it should be a one-to-one -one comparison. Only thing is, these strings are old, so I might as well not even play them. Yeah, I'm not even going to play them because they're, they're old strings, so I'm not even going to do that. So I'm, uh, the next clip that you're going to do, or the next clip that you're going to see, is going to be me uh, with the bass fully strung up and kind of doing a little sound demo, maybe a little something in the mix. We'll see how it goes. So yeah. All right, so this is a different day, and uh, I went ahead and put the uh, SIT strings on. So they're on here right now. I think I may have threw away the packaging. It's dumb. But anyway, you seen what uh, the strings that I actually put on here were. 
So, uh, I just strung it up, just tuned it up, really haven't played with it yet. So, let's see what this thing actually sounds like with the new strings. Uh, yeah. <laughs> all right so yeah all that got the turn the knobs and all the buttons and the in the it's this bass is a lot uh but utilitarian purposes that's why i want to bring this bass whenever i go and do church gigs because i can literally match any type of bass that i hear with pretty much a push of a button and everything you just heard there except for the last little piece which i only boosted uh treble and bass a little bit and then the piece before that i took treble and bass out and went with low mid and high mid uh for the cording and stuff um yeah the very beginning was all flat and all the buttons pressed in and then i took the middle button out to make it just the front two and then i switched to the back two and uh yeah it's got a lot of voicings. The strings are really smooth. Like I can't feel the windings on the string at all. And it's it's there, but it glides really well. And uh, for the type of stuff I do, the the whole. Uh, it, It does that really well so I'm happy with this this is the first time I've ever played with this string period and uh, at least this particular brand or this particular version of their strings feels great uh, again if you're interested in these strings the link is gonna be in the description where you can go and pick up your own and uh, try them out I like them so uh, I still have a few uh, tens of MJC uh, strings that I have to kind of go through, or I may just keep them. I may just hold on to them for, you know, just put them in the gig bags and stuff and just rock with these. But so far, so good. So 
If you like how this sounds, I'll probably be doing like a cover song or something with this bass coming up very soon. And I'll be playing this bass. So uh, y'all check that out and you can hear how it actually sounds in the mix. But till then, I've been Alan Brown, a.k.a. Bullet the Kid. Y'all be easy. Thank you.